Shalom, Malek. It's your brother Ramain Chu, your Ram Yahweh. Greeting you, Basham Yahweh, our Abba in heaven, and Basham Yahweh Shah, our Adonai at his right hand. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a reading out of the book of Job. And, um, let's just go ahead and take a look at some passages and let the Spirit give us some more wisdom. And, and enlightenment, okay? We'll begin at the uh, fourth verse. Now, Eli, who had waited till Job, it's like it. Now, Eli, who had waited till Job had spoken because they were older than he. When Eli, who saw that there was no answer in the, in the mouth of these three men, then his wrath was kindled. And Eli, who the, the son the son of Barakal, the Buzite, answered and said, I am young, and ye are very old. Wherefore I was afraid, and durst not show you mine opinion. And you know what? That's what happened for so many years for a lot of us being in a uh, synagogue of Satan, seeing things where nobody could understand or give a proper breakdown of the judgment of the things that we were seeing right but sometimes we just didn't want to question our elders why sometimes we were just afraid and does not show our opinion like eli who said right there why we were young and they were very old so that's their whole respect right Verse 7 to show deeper. I said, Days should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. Hallelujah. But verse 8 But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of Shaddai, the Almighty, giveth him understanding. Great men are not always wise, neither do aged understand judgment. Let me repeat that. Great men are not always wise. Neither do the age understand judgment. Therefore I said, hearken to me, I will show mine opinion. Behold, I waited for your words. I gave ear to your reasons why you searched out what to say. Why? Because they were at a loss of words, you know. After seven days, these guys, you know, I mean, you know what, they came and saw Job. They sat quiet for seven days, right? astonished at his condition and then everybody got the rant and raving about all the reasons why these things were happening to him so on and so forth but Eli who ain't going for it you know he the youngest out the bunch but this is very important man this is dealing with him uh, ex uh, speaking expressly from the spirit of Yahweh Shai man uh, okay watch we'll see verse 7 I said days should speak and multitude of years should teach wisdom okay that's right. Um, you know, that's what Yahweh Shai did. He instructed, he, he gave us wisdom, man. Okay, open our eyes, our ears, our understanding. And he is the Ancient of Days. Right? But also, this is, on the, on, in the contrast, you have to look at this when it's time to go against your false prophet elders, man. You know, you don't rebuke the elder, but entreat him as a father. But you still have to entreat your elder and don't let him get away with everything they tell you if it's, if it's heresy, okay? Verse 9 says that great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment. Therefore, I said, hearken to me, I will show my opinion. So here comes the old bug out of nobody saying, let me give you my opinion. Oh, yeah, he's just a bug out. But man, this bug out been getting prophecies brought to pass in a, at a high rate and in, in a, at, at a fast rate, man, the most high been honoring my prayers and my prophecies. Hallelujah. Okay. And that's, and I mean, I, and I say that, uh, I boast, I make this boast in Yahweh, particularly before my enemies in uh, the GMS camp, man, who always, you know, call me demons and curse me and, and say I'm everything except for one of the elect, man, because I don't deal with them in, in that damn doctrine they got. All right, but let's look on. So they, you know, I asked them for the breakdown why I wasn't destroyed. And now don't get me wrong, I forgive my brothers and I love them, but it's still a war, so I'm going at them 
still because I'm going to purify them boys with this fire from Yahweh until they repent. Just like Yahweh purified me until I repented. As many as he loved, he chasing their repent. And that's why Tahar gave that mandate, man. Uh, because, you know, Tahar wanted to see the best from his, his boys out there in the camps. All right? He, and I'm pretty sure, you know, he getting wind of these prophecies that Israelite Hebrews like myself, okay, a bit have an honor from the Most High, okay? Most High can't be dealing with you and you speak prophecies and they come to pass, okay? The scripture said, if, oh, if it come to pass, Most High dealing with a dude. I ain't seen nobody say nothing about um, this or that, you know, it's going to happen, and then it happened within the next day. I haven't seen that from no prophet, all right? This is so, okay. And it's just an honor, man. And I give the Most High, Allah, him, Yahweh, and his holy beloved, Yahweh Shai, and the spirit of truth, all the praise and the glory for it. And I, and I really uh, hope Israel's admonished because, uh, you know, I know you might not agree with me or how I walk out my faith and my salvation. Uh, but if I see an Israelite, uh, uh, you know, calling, um, you know what I'm saying, prophecies out and the prophecies are fulfilled by the Most High, I'm going to be glorifying uh, in that, okay, especially against these heathens because that's the time we're in. That's the reason why we can do these things, man. That's right, because these are the things, like I told you, GMS, SF Camp, these are the things that Yahweh Shai uh, has bound up in his name. And these are the things that he he said he'll do for us if we asked in his name, man. Okay? All right. Let me, let's move on. Uh, um, let's look at verse, uh, verse 13. Let's used to say we have found our wisdom. The Most High thrusted him down, not man. So, so Elihu was telling Job's friends, oh, but, but 12 will give you a better insight. You know, uh, yeah, I tell you unto you, and behold, there was none of you that convinced Job or that answered his words. Let's you should say we have found our wisdom, and the Most High thrusted him down. Uh, not man. The most high, th he's saying, you guys don't know nothing. It's the most high who smoked Job and not man. You know what I'm saying? Now he, now he had not directed his words against me, neither will I answer him with your speeches. They were amazed. They answered no more. They left off speaking. Okay, so his, this is still Eli who's dealing with Job's friends, man. All right, now he had not directed his words against me, neither will I answer him with your speeches. Okay. They were amazed. They answered no more. They left off speaking. When I had waited for that, when I had waited, for they spake not, but stood still and answered no more. Okay, he was trying to tell these dudes, give me an answer, 